Hi everybody, I'm Jim. I'm Rich. And we're playing Resident Rise. And... And I am back from the nether, because fuck that place. It's a little scary. It's a lot scary. Okay. So today, I'm going back to finishing off this, uh... Purifier. Should I not put enough tin into there? And I am going to improve the workshop. Oh no, Jim's got other stuff in there, that's why. So I need a bunch of iron ingots. What happened to all our iron ingots? There were incidences of having to make new stuff. Do we have any in our newly functioning storage system? We do. Neat. Machine frame needs that. So I need a cauldron. I need to make a drum. You took all the iron out of the storage, didn't you? Oh yeah. I'll put it back in a sec. I just need four. There's four on the ground near me. Now there's eight on the ground near you, but anyway. There's at least four. Machine frame. Now I need to go down to Purifier made. the mine. Yeah. Remember to take Franklin with you? No. Okay. Botanical purifier. Engaged. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to get some iron ore, because we seem to be running low on iron. Do you want to see this in operation, Jim? Oh, absolutely. Okay. This is going to be my new best friend, because it creates additional ore. Alright, so yeah, how do we do this? Well, I don't know if you can right-click the botanical purifier. I don't see anything inside it. I've just put a block of ore into it. Oh, yeah, there it goes. And it's now purified one. Yeah. Take that, you throw it back in the other side, let it go again. Bam. Purity two. Oh, ho, ho. We then take... That'll t that, that will smelt into three iron ingots. Yep. Let me try it with this Ardite that I've got. Try it. See if it works. I'm not 100% sure about Ardite. I'm not either. I'm excited to find out. We threw that into the furnace, and boom. Three iron ingots. Hashtag just engineer things. No, you cannot put Ardite in it. Darn. Nor Cobalt. That's okay, I've got other plants. Yeah. But anyways, I'm going to throw a stack of uh, iron into that and let it run for a bit. Hopefully I have lots of uh, mana for it. Cool. I need to go down to the mine. And I need to find that pump. Oh wow, I've already drained one mana pool. Yeah, this is going to be power intensive. Or I should say mana intensive. Didn't bring my wrench. Because that would be silly. Oh. Okay. So <laughs> that's going and making us lots of ore. This, we got the storage working. Um, sometime between this episode and the next I'll be moving stuff into it and right 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 something else I was about to get start, started on Operation Chisel ah now for me I need to upgrade my workshop it's a little small there's a lot of stuff in there now and the first step for upgrading my workshop is actually pumping out the oil that's beneath it and I have a chisel, because I'm awesome. Oh yeah. I've heard that. Usually from me. Mm-hmm. Basically. So what this chisel does is you can take blocks, stick them up there to carve, and then you can pick what you want to turn them into out of the list here. I think I'm going to try this. Let's see how it looks. Uh, stone pick. Go, little pump, go. Ah, oops. Mistakes were made. Okay. 
yeah, I think that'll look good. Now, some other things you can do with this. Uh, need more wood. But you can go along. Take out these blocks like this. All I can I turned around to look at what you were doing, and you're entirely underground. How are you trying to see what I'm doing when we're not even anywhere near each other? I didn't know that. Open this up. Put one in there. We're using these. Put that right back there. And then start left clicking the appropriate blocks. And it'll change what blocks you have placed to match what you've set your chisel to use. Ooh, neat. So that is really cool. Pay uh, no attention to the pump on my roof. Okay, yeah, now you know I'm going to have to come and look at that. <laughs> Which is the whole reason you did that. What? There's a pump on my roof. There is it's a pump. fine. I'm pumping out that oil. Yes, you are. I'm going to build a basement in the workshop, which means I can't have that basement be flooded with oil. Sure you could. So I'm going to pump it into something useful. So I will say this. I don't think we want to try and triple our ore production on uh, stuff we have lots of using this. Oh? I put in a stack of 32 iron. I've drained the mana pools. And that's only trying to get its first purification done. Wow. Yeah. On the other hand, uh, other metals that we don't have lots of, it'll be worth it. Yep. <clears throat> so only for rare stuff is what I'm getting. Yeah, I'll probably finish running that. Like, that'll double right there, but we can already double just by putting in the pulverizer. Yeah. I might triple a bunch of stuff... Um, off camera when the server's just sitting there not doing anything. But yeah, until while, then, while the mana pools recharge? Yeah. Seems cool. That'll let the mana pools recharge. So that was the first step in my decoration downstairs. I need to make ender tanks. Uh, Do you know what I need to make ender tanks? Ender pearls? Among other things. Blaze rods? Mm -hmm, I have those. Probably obsidian. Uh yeah, got that. I need wool, Rick. We had wool. Our sheep have all vanished. I'm gonna go out and catch them on the hoof. Actually, you, we have blaze rods, right? I'm gonna break one of those down to blaze powder. I got a new plan for catching these. Don't worry, I got this, I got this. You should make the Magic lasso? Machine. Yeah. Alright, you build the magic lasso. I'm just gonna go and, and oh, there's find powder. some sheep. Okay. And gather them sort of quickly. Oh, I forgot to equip my hang glider. Yeah, but magic lasso is awesome. Oh, that's a chicken. Those are definitely chickens. Those are not sheep, they're chickens. So I need four string and four gold nuggets. Uh, the thing that weirds me out about Feed the Beast and and mod set, mod packs like that, like Resonant Rise, mm -hmm. is how full the world is. There's so much stuff by our house. There's so much stuff in the Nether, which is why I don't ever want to go there again. Slash, I am gonna have to go there next episode. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, no. Cows. Right, There's another castle. Probably. Uh, yeah, I just found another castle. Wow, this one's huge! Did I mention I found pirates and vikings at one point? Uh, no, but that seems amazing. Yeah, like, this world is so expansive. And now and I have a magical golden lasso. Now all you need to do is find some sheep, because I haven't found any. Those sheep I originally found were nearby, too. Well, they were presumably all the sheep that were nearby, and now they're gone. I wish I knew what happened to them. 
Uh, my my bet's aliens. When in doubt, aliens. Floating nether portal, not touching that. I'm a super Minecraft coward. Like, that is why I die so much in the nether, is because I attempt to be brave in the nether, and it doesn't work. What's up, Chocobo? Oh, man, that's something else I'm going to have to start getting and breeding one of these days. Oh, God. Oh, I found some sheep. Okay. Which way did you go to find sheep? I am at X702. Pl positive 702? Minus. Okay. Y or Z uh, positive 934. Wow, did you ever get out there? Told you. I'm just shearing your sheep. So is so. X negative seven something? Yep. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I'm still getting over a cold. They're just in the field way past the... Uh, in their portal. No, I think the problem is I went the wrong direction on the z-axis. Possible? I did. Because I'm at z-1600. Pump it, baby. So while you're waiting for that to pump, if you're back at base, can you make a rolling machine? Yeah, I could probably do that. So you said it was Z900 and some or something like that? Yep. This is... yeah, totally. Yeah, I went south instead of north. Ah. Uh, we're going to ditch some things in a chest here. Ditch them in the storage system. <laughs> No. Alright, and so we're gonna need pistons. A bunch of pistons. Eight iron ingots. Cobblestone. Aha, sheepies. And redstone. And they weren't actually that far either. That clock is the most annoying thing in the world, I just want you to know. Oh, I know, I know. So you know the best part about this golden lasso? Uh, nope. I can go hunt hunting and get you some pets. Uh, define pets? I don't know yet, I haven't decided. Oh. But but your, your workshop needs some lightening up. You could use some pets. I disagree. I don't know. Thor seems to like my idea. That's cool. I don't care. Grouts on your rolling machine. Perfect, I can use that to make concrete now. Alright, we're gonna put it here, right next to the, the furnace. Here we go, we're up to two sheepies. And I can just breed them. <laughs> Alright. We'll start the loving. So while that's pumping, I should make 
a couple of ender tanks. There, now we got a baby sheepies. Do we know what we did with the um Is this gonna work? I don't know. Sorry, I'm doing a thing. Things are worth doing. Probably. Also, do you know where I left my wrench? Not a clue. Fair. But it's probably in your workshop. Uh, just check. I am the worst at being organized. Alright, fine. We'll do okay. it. I'm gonna go pulverize some iron ore. So I need lots of iron for my workshop. So, pulverize that ore. Oh yeah, baby. So when it comes to being organized, let's uh, start taking the stuff in these chests and throw it into the sorting system. No, actually, I guess I'm, I'm, we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Oh, oh, I just landed on the punchy sticks. Good job. Yep, you know me. I was just looking at whether I could... Um, consume the... Uh, I just pump lava straight from... the drum into the... Uh, igneous extruder. Why would you want to pump lava? Because then the igneous extruder is always full of lava. I thought the igneous extruder created lava. No. Dude. I understand that you are a wizard, but allow me to explain to you that you can't create something out of nothing. I thought it turned netherrack into lava. What? No. Or some other stuff into lava. No. It, so that's the thing that makes our cobblestone. You remember that thing? Oh, okay. I was thinking of a different thing. I think I need my wrench to make that happen. Did you ever find it? Nope. I'm unwilling to make another one, though. Gotta be around somewhere. Man. If only we'd had a storage system earlier, eh? Oh, you're taking everything out of those chests? Yeah, I'm still throwing them in the storage system. <laughs> I found your stone hammer. Yeah, no, I don't care about that anymore. I don't love it. I found our old flint and steel. Oh, where was it? In a chest in the, the old sorting system. Hmm. I have a lot of things. So, it's a very complicated life. Found my wrench! Yay! Oh, I also found some hardened fluid ducts. That would have been really useful. Damn it, I just stored my hang glider. Get back here. Okay, so I've semi-organized the, uh... Workshop a bit, which, you know, is supposed to be your job. Uh, well, you're doing it. I don't know. So anyways, what I need to make concrete. Yeah, it's definitely not just pumping out of my barrel. Sad face. Block of concrete needs five stone, four Some rebars more. to make eight. Bunch more. There 
go. We got those making. And wow, we really need to get on this whole power thing. I'm working on it. Um, I might we have to... We need to find our ender pearls. They're in a chest over beside the house. Beside the ender lily. Uh, I just took the storage system off the power grid. Because we were using too much power at the moment. I mean, I'm using too much power at the moment. Mmm. Shocked. Alright, so the plan for this power is we're going to use a pump in the nether to pump lava into our world. And the way we're going to do that is with ender tanks. So, I need iron ingots. Those iron ingots? Dibs. <laughs> You want more power? This is how we're going to get it. More power. Right. More power. Did you make the ender tanks? I'm doing it right now. Okay. Except I put my wool somewhere and I don't remember where it was. It's probably in the storage system. Let me uh, go attach the power back to that. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Otherwise, this is going to be a whole thing. If we have three sheep, you could shear. We could, but you know where my shears are? <laughs> In the storage system? I'm kidding, they're not. Oh. They're actually just going to go and shear some sheep. Yeah, I'll get some stone. Alright. And Probably boom, blocks of, 40 blocks of concrete. So, what I've told Jim, and I'll let viewers know, is between this episode and the next, I am going to finish a lot of the decorating down here. Uh, I really do not want to spend two or three episodes watching, pe having people watch me dig up blocks and put yeah, in no, new we blocks. we got other stuff to do. Yeah, we have other stuff to do. We Where don't do my have blaze time. rods go? Uh, I don't know about yours, but there should be some in the storage system. Shock. The four I uh, had that I put in there. And the 22 that I had that I put in there. I didn't know if you had or not, because I didn't see them when yeah. I grabbed some. And that's what I'm going to do for floors, concrete, because why not? It looks kind of cool, nice. It's got a different color from this gray stone. We'll put in this concrete. The walls I'm thinking of using magical blocks for. For a nice look. We'll keep All that right, going. We have two ender tanks. The other thing we need is an ender thermic pump. Which I think is going to need ender infused obsidian. Ender infused or something like that. Yeah, so we're going to need a lot more obsidian. But we'll take care of that I think next episode. Yes. And for now, I have pumped all the area out under my workshop. So now I can put a basement up. 